Voters in Mexico are going to the polls today, and they are set to make history. NBC's Guad Venegas is in Mexico City with more. Guad, good morning. Willie, good morning. It's going to be a new chapter for Mexico's 200-year history with the voters likely to elect the first female president. Claudia Sheinbaum has been leading the polls far behind Xochitl Galvez, who's looking to pull an upset. But Sheinbaum has a very interesting background. She lived in the U.S. for some time. She speaks fluent English, studied at Berkeley and Stanford. She's an academic and a close ally to current President López Obrador. But this election is going to be stained by death and violence with dozens of candidates and aspiring candidates assassinated during the election cycle, the last one just last Friday. Now, experts say that organized crime, criminal enterprises are connected to a lot of the killings with much of the violence focused on people seeking local office. Experts say this is because the criminals want to control local resources. That, along with the issues of public safety, will have to be dealt with by the next president. And then there's the issue of immigration. This directly affects the United States. U.S authorities have been pressuring Mexico to keep migrants from arriving to the U.S. border while Mexico continues to get thousands of migrants arriving in the country daily. The issues that the next president will have to face, as officials here have said, that 27,000 members of the National Guard are going to be offering security today, Willie, as Mexicans head to the polls to vote. Back to you. The world, particularly the United States, watching this vote very closely today. Guad Venegas in Mexico City. Guad, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.